Hi little friends, this is Miss Lewis. I'm trying something different today. So I'm going to read you our book, but I'm gonna try just kind of focusing on the book. So you're not gonna see Miss Lewis, but you'll hear me. Is that a good deal? So y'all recognize this series, Elephant and Piggy Books, they are the best. I wish I'd have Mrs. Kerr's little stuffies of Gerald and Piggy, that would have been perfect, but. I didn't think about that. So we're gonna read this awesome book all by itself. And it's by Mo Willems. And Mo did the pictures and he also wrote the book. So he's both the author and the illustrator. Let us begin. Listen to my trumpet. <gasps> Looks like Piggy's got something. Gerald! Piggy exclaims. Sit, sit, sit. Do not move, says Piggy. I have a trumpet, says Piggy. Do you want to listen to my trumpet? Piggy asks. Yes, please, says Gerald. Oh, look how pleased Piggy is. So happy. Here I go. Look at Gerald's face. How funny is that? And look at Piggy's face. He's turning red because it takes a lot of air to blow that trumpet. It blew Gerald right off his stool. And it blew Piggy back too. That was a big, big sound. Wait, that was not right, says Piggy. Not right at all, Gerald says. Looking inside that trumpet. Hmm. Blah! Oh dear. Look at Gerald's face. <laughs> Piggy's trying so hard. That is better, said Piggy. Better? Gerald. <gasps> he's covering his ears and Piggy is so proud. Drums! Gerald thinks. Yikes. That is not music, he thought to himself. Great! Piggy's trumpets. Hmm. Gerald starts thinking again as Piggy plays. Spack, drack, twack, skack, brack, glack. Piggy sounds like my Aunt Molly, says Gerald, with a cold. And now for my big finish, Piggy exclaims. Uh-oh, buckle up, Gerald. Here we go, are you ready? Black, glark, quark, blap, zap, blap, blow, quark, slark, smirk. Look at Piggy, he's upside down. And so is Gerald. Uh, finished? He asks. Finished, Piggy exclaims. 
So, what do you think of my trumpet? Piggy asked gleefully. Gerald doesn't know what to say. Um, your trumpet is... Yes? Piggy asks. Um, Gerald says. Go on, said Piggy. Your trumpet is loud. And? Asked Piggy. Your trumpet is shiny. And? Said Piggy. Um, you hold your trumpet very well. And? Asked Piggy. I think Piggy's wanting something else, and I think Gerald's afraid of hurting Piggy's feelings. What do you think? Let's find out. Um, I'm waiting, Piggy says. Piggy, you are my friend. Look how proud Piggy is. And I am your friend, Gerald says. Big smile from Piggy. So I will tell you the truth, Gerald says. Your trumpet is loud and shiny and you hold it well, but, oh, Piggy's so excited. That was not music, Gerald says. Oh, I'm sorry, Gerald says. He looks a little embarrassed. You see how his cheeks are a little pink? Sometimes when we get embarrassed, our cheeks turn colors. Gerald, Piggy said, you think I'm trying to make music? I am trying to speak elephant. I want to sound just like you, said Piggy. Aw, how sweet is that? Oh, Gerald says. But Piggy... Your accent needs work. I will teach you. Yay, Piggy exclaims. Try more ick in your grick. Grick, grick. Hey, they're trumpeting together. The end. What'd you think about that sweet little story? Well, I think Gerald's a pretty good friend to be trying to be kind to his friend Piggy. And I think Piggy was super sweet to let, to try and talk just like his friend Elephant because Elephant's um, trunks do kind of sound like a trumpet sometimes, don't they? Okay, my friends, this is Monday. This is our book for today. I hope you have a good, good day. Go outside and get some fresh air. And, um... Listen to your mom and dad, okay? I love you, and I miss you, and we'll see you soon. Bye, sweet potatoes.